guys, this is Vicky Vegas. It's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. I'm here at the Las Vegas Women's uh, Resource Center. Actually, this is the parking lot because the event today um, is the giveaway of wheelchairs and diapers. Okay, it's open to the public. Actually, you guys should come or you guys should have seen this on TV or in Facebook. You guys should have registered because really, really, the wheelchairs are free. The diapers are free. Knowing people from the Nevada Women's Resource Center, very, very good resource. Knowing Dallas Horton, uh, Dallas Horton and Associates Personal Injury Lawyers, very, very good resource because they're uh, sponsoring the event today. And then, of course, Rachel Horton of, uh, um, what do you call this, Vegas Healthcare. Uh, they're right here now. Okay. Oh, hold on. Where are you going, guys? Ladies room. Do you no. Okay. No. That's Michelle. She's a director of the... Uh, Women's Resource Medical Centers. Women. Director of uh, Partner Relations. Okay. And, of course, Rachel Horton of... Vegas. Vegas Healthcare. Yes. Dallas Horton Associates. Yes. Okay. I'll see you. <laughs> All righty. So um, today, yes. So today we are, we just gave away, actually those were two rows of uh, wheelchairs. So, um, oh, I forgot. Cushberry Farms is also here. You know, they provided the manpower because you really need manpower. You have to carry all these wheelchairs from the uh, factory, not factory, but their storage to this place and then we have a lot of diaper donations here oh my gosh look at that i mean you know every little help counts it's so <laughs> you know it's so hard and expensive to have kids so this is you know they appreciate this so much look at that and they also accept baby formula um right there and different sizes of diapers and this is uh christina yeah, Christina. Beautiful Christina, the daughter of uh, Rachel and Dallas Horton. So she's a volunteer. Imagine that it's so hot here, but she's volunteering. Those two wheelchairs are reserved for pickup. And some of them, they just come and others reserve it in advance. So you can do that too. Um, even if it's not for you, like you know someone who needs a wheelchair, you can do that. Okay, this is Cushberry Farms. They helped a lot. And this is, of course, Dallas Horton. G. Dallas Horton and Associates. It's really, we're really uh, practically under the sun. But no complaints. People are just like, they're volunteering here. They're doing their best. And I really appreciate it. We should all appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Look at that. So they have different sizes of wheelchair. Probably depending on... Um, depending on your weight. So you have to know so from the biggest to the smallest. Okay, the other at the back there, <laughs> that was full earlier, but now it's gone. There's just one left there. So these are the models and when people come, they'll just pick it up. I believe there's gonna be a $2,000 wheelchair later for um, kids or persons with a disability I am trying to remember what disability he had uh, anyway we'll find out later so yeah this is it but I wish you know you guys spread the word so you can come next time maybe make a donation for um, for women the moms like last time I donated um, sanitary pads and clothes shoes they need all these things you know and if you can donate your help that'll even be better like after a mother gives birth let's say two days three days they you know you don't want to stand up so they need help they need volunteers you know even just to hold the baby for a while while they sleep all these little things you can donate your time i think that's perfect so um if you want to contact uh people in the women's resource center or vegas healthcare rachel horton or dallas horton or people in the cushberry farms or um, ivy and john williams if you don't know how to go direct to them you can contact me um make you know 
make a comment below and if you want to volunteer that'll be really nice but if you need any of these things that's fine please let us know because my gosh it's free where can you find it free okay so well uh looking forward to this event i hope i hope uh we finish all the wheelchairs okay love you guys Okay, so we're preparing now for um, this wheelchair giveaway sponsored by, in part by Dallas Horton and Associates. How yeah. awesome, dude. Look at that. Personal Injury That's Lawyers and Cushberry Farms. So, uh, so it's complete. Yeah. And this is John Williams, the head of the uh, Nevada Wheelchair Foundation. Look at that. They, <laughs> uh, all these big time guys are the ones working here. No, I never. Oh, so it's complete. Um, John, how many sizes do you have for this? We have five sizes. We wow. Have 16 up to 24 inches. Wow. All right. And then you also have those things. It's complete. Oh, yeah. It's, this is a complete uh, manual wheelchair. Yeah. It's adjustable. I heard you were donating a $2,000 wheelchair. Or That's the one right there. Oh, my gosh. It's fully motorized, I guess. It's not motorized. Oh, my it's a specialty wheelchair for people with cerebral palsy or any yeah. kind of muscular really? problem. Really? Wow. It's a beautiful one. Yes. So, lucky recipient. Oh, I he's going to be here today. Is oh, he's going to be about nine. Young or, man? Yes. Oh, I right. think he's about nine years old. Yeah. Oh, nine years old. Yes. Okay. So, John, why don't you tell us about Nevada Wheelchair Foundation? Well, the Nevada Wheelchair Foundation, we started about 2002. We've helped over 11,500 so far and we got every age group we help from six year olds up to you know what yes. 100 years old five different sizes They're all manual wheelchairs bright ferrari red yes and we're just in nevada only and qualifications are easy okay just gotta live in nevada permanent use okay and uh, uh Basically, that's it. Just permanent use. Yes. Because we can't do temporary. We don't. These are all family funded. Dallas Horton oh. helped us financially. Yes. So we have to, you know, be careful who we give them to. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. My gosh. So you've been doing this for how long? Twenty years. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, John. Oh, hey, I love it. I mean, we get I know. hugs and. Uh, I know. I know. Okay. Once it's in a while, somebody complains they want a black wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Not a red one, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, John. John, that was John Williams. Yeah. So he's the president of the Nevada Wheelchair Foundation. I'm sorry if it's not in focus because I'm doing blind shooting. I can't see very much because of the sun. I apologize, but I'll do my best. So there's Ivy. There, um, Ivy is John's wife, and they're trying to set up this wheelchair. <laughs> That's Dallas Horton trying to figure out um, how to do it. Even I don't know how. So, yep. But you know, they're in fairness to them, they're really trying and they're really helping out uh, before the people come in. So it's it's I'm early. So I'm quite early. Oh, no. <laughs> They're from Cushberry. So, uh, look at that. Wow. These two guys are carrying the wheelchair that's uh, being donated. All righty. I'm uh, Tyler Morgan with Cushberry Farms. We're a local cannabis cultivation production facility out here helping with uh, set up the wheelchairs and giving out diapers. Um, for our product, you find us at Inyo Dispensary, uh, just released today actually, and next week we'll be in the Jade Dispensary oh. here as well as in Reno. Wow, all right. Yeah. So, um, can you tell us um, why you're here today? We're just trying to get 
be part of the community, help out, um, set up some wheelchairs, yes. give out some diapers, uh, oh. working with the Women's Foundation. Is this um, your first time with the Women's Foundation? It is. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more with them. Oh my gosh. All yeah. right. Thank you so much. You got it. Okay. Rachel Horton, I'm here uh, supporting Vegas Healthcare and the Women's Resource Center and the Nevada Wheelchair Foundation. G. Dallas Horton and Associates is putting on this event for community awareness to let the wonderful Las Vegas community know that these services are available to them. We have Cushberry Farms here that they're, they're providing all of the labor. They are super, super involved in these charities as well. Uh, we are pleased to announce that John Williams and Ivy are here with wheelchairs and they are giving away free wheelchairs to anybody who is in need. So please stop by. We are we are here for you. Uh, the Women's Resource Center is giving away baby diapers. Where they are also accepting donations. If you are not in need of baby diapers, you can donate oh, anytime perfect. Yeah. at 1701 West Charleston uh, for baby diapers or baby clothing, anything that babies need, they are accepting. Uh, you can also donate uh, to Nevada Wheelchair Foundation if you are not in need of a wheelchair. So G. Dallas Horton and Associates really appreciates everyone involved. Uh, thank you again, Cushberry Farms, for your support. And Vegas Healthcare is here to answer any of your healthcare needs. And you can also visit us on VegasHealthcare.com. Until what time is this event? This event is from 9 to 11. Do you know if there's going to be another event? Uh, we do plan on doing more in the future. Okay. All right. So um, I see milk there. Yes. <laughs> so they they donate. So, oh. And baby formula. Baby formula. So the formula. Women's Resource Center, they support women who are pregnant and they support the baby up until three years old. So wow. if you're in need, this is the place This is the place to go. Oh. They're very, very supportive of women and their babies. Okay, thank you so much, Rachel. You are one amazing woman. Thank you so much. I'll we see appreciate you. you so much, Vicki. I'll see you. Okay. Thank you. So you guys sign up here. Ooh, they even have uh, gifts. <laughs> this is the really expensive uh, wheelchair that they're going to give away today. It's more than $2,000. I thought it was mechanical, but it's not. But it's $2,000. And uh, I've donated here before. Um, in the last event last year, maybe the fourth quarter, I just... You know, I gave sanitary napkins, a lot of bulks of sanitary napkins because it's not only for babies, it's also for the moms. And uh, today I will be donating uh, a bunch of socks. Socks for kids and um, kids and moms. Okay, so you guys can do that too. Like if you have extras at home or clothes, oh, they will take it, really. They would appreciate it. How you doing, Miss Vicky Vegas? Hi, Dallas, my favorite personal injury attorney. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so please. Uh, well, we're here today on behalf of the Nevada Wheelchair Foundation. Uh -huh. My wife is on the board of Vegas Healthcare. Yes. And of course, uh, the Women's Resource Center. So the Women's Resource Center provides prenatal care as well as postnatal care as well as parenting classes for moms. They give, they help mom get their clothing. They help them understand the importance of a job, get them job training. This is literally the full on, they do it all for young mothers that can't afford to take proper care of their children. It costs nothing. Yeah. Uh, as long as our community supports them, they're gonna support these women so they raise healthy babies in our community. Yeah. The Nevada Wheelchair Foundation, also a local Nevada charity. Nevada Wheelchair Foundation provides wheelchairs to anyone who needs a wheelchair but cannot afford one. Now, you keep following along through Vegas Healthcare. Yes. Vegas Healthcare helps people know a couple of things. First of all, what kind of health care do you need if you don't know anything? Where do I go? Who do I go to? That's one thing they do. They kind of let people know these are good professionals within the community with a good reputation. But equally important, is they help people who cannot afford health care find health care. 
so they help those in need. So these are all local charities. My law firm, of course, provided you know the coverage and all of this stuff, and we did what we had to do to get everybody here and do the big giveaway and go onto the radio. Uh, I, I can't thank Cushberry Farms enough. Their farm provided the labor for the event to get all of these chairs ready and all of these tables out, and all the diapers down. I mean, they, they could not yes. be more pleased with Cushberry Farms. Got to give a shout out to Inyo Dispensary. Cushberry Farms had their product launch today. Oh. We would have expected Cushberry Farms to call us because they agreed to this long before they knew their product launch was today. Mm. We kind of expected a call. Sorry, we can't be there. Instead, they called Inyo Dispensary where the product launch is, let them know what they had going on. Inyo Dispensary said, we'll provide the labor for your product launch. You guys go provide the labor wow. for the charity event. Yeah. This is local, supporting locals in the greatest way possible, guys. Yes. I, I, if we're doing business in, in, in Las Vegas, everybody out there do be a thing. Do business with your locally owned businesses because they support our local community. When we do business with those out-of-state companies, well, our money goes out of state. It goes to other communities. So please support Cushberry Farms at Indio Dispensary. Support these local charities. Everything stays here in our community where our people need that help. That's all I have to say. I thank you all. I'm Dallas Orton, out of law firm, of course. If any of you ever heard of an accident, please let us know. We'd be happy to help you. Helping others is not just what I do for a living, though. It's very important that we all give back. Giving back can be financial, but it can also be labor. All of these charities need your volunteer help. It's just as important as the money. So please, get out there. Support our local businesses and support our local charities just in any way you can so we have a happier, healthier community. And remember, when we spend our money in our local businesses, they hire more people. They, in turn, spend their money here locally, so our local economy rises. So in every way, not just charity, it's always good to look out for locals. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dallas. You're, You're awesome. the best. You're the best, Vicki. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Later on, all of this will be gone. Good morning. My name is Michelle Caven, and I am the Dir Director of Development for Women's Resource Medical Centers of Southern Nevada. We are a faith-based organization that assists women in pregnancy um, until the time they find out they're pregnant, till their ex child actually turns three. Um, today, we are here doing a diaper giveaway and a diaper drive. Um, and we assist pregnant women by offering free services. Every service that they receive here at the Women's Resource Medical Centers is free. And that includes a pregnancy test, ultrasound, medical prenatal care, and that aftercare support uh, until the baby turns three with material services such as diapers, formula, clothing, maternity clothes, cribs, car seats, and all those things that you need to care for our baby. Um, if you would like to learn more about what Women's Resource Centers does or possibly make a donation, please visit SaveALifeClub.com. That's SaveALifeClub.com. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. So, Michelle, I have a question. Sure. Well, let's say um, the, the woman gives birth. Do you give assistance like somebody to stay with her for, let's say, the next three days? Because those are the hardest times for a woman. Sure, they are. They are extremely hard. We don't provide that assistance. However, we do have clinicians and nurses on staff that can assist her with any postpartum issues that she has. We also offer educational classes to help support uh, them during pregnancy, so how to care for their pregnancy, also how to care for their baby and eventually their toddler. We also include a budgeting class and many other opportunities, uh, uh, classes like Lamaze, how about breastfeeding? In, in addition to breastfeeding classes. <laughs> everything that she needs, we are here yeah. to support. And if it's something that we cannot do, because we've been serving our community for 38 years, we have great partnerships throughout the valley. 
Do you like even help, let's say, the husbands? Yes. Yeah, so we have oh. a, we do have a fatherhood mentoring program as well, and um, the dads are also served in the educational classes and part they're part of the experience of the prenatal care. Uh, the- we encourage we encourage them to be involved um, for you know healthy mama and healthy baby, um, and when dads included. Um, it, it, it helps in her mental. So as far as uh, if you would like to get involved, there's many ways to do so. Um, we accept donations of baby clothing up to 4T. We accept donations for diapers and formula and all those car seats and cribs and anything that baby needs, we accept those. In addition, we also um, assist mama with maternity clothes. So we accept all women's clothing, uh, shoes, jewelry, accessories, um, all those things to go to help support um, the needs of our mamas and our programs. All right, babe. And you can also learn more at savealifeclub.com. Oh, thank you so much. Save a life. So that's that's your um, website. That's our website. I see. Okay. Thank you so much. That's for the Women's Resource that's Center. Right. Yes. Women's thank Resource you, Miss Michelle. Southern Nevada. My pleasure. Thank you so much. So you're gonna pick up wheelchair and diapers. Okay. Miss Rachel is gonna assist you. Okay. Yes. You. Okay. Go. Yes. So which one do you want? My, my mom only for kids. Oh, for kids. Oh, I have a kid. You have four, a kid? Oh, all right. Six months. Oh, uh, six months, yes. So, um, Miss Michelle is... Please talk to Miss Michelle. How are you today? Good. How can I assist you? What are your needs today? Um, I Baby diapers? Uh-huh. What size? Uh, size Okay. Um, you want to use it before it expires. Okay, March. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here, Michelle. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I wonder. Oh, they have to register first. That's so cute. Uh, so uh, before they give the wheelchair, they'll have them try it out first. Because sometimes they choose a small one and they're not too comfortable, or they choose a big one and they're not comfy. So they want the best of the Dell as he's the one pushing it himself. Oh, yeah, that's just just cool. Cool. Goes around the bottom. See, they have to. Uh, is explaining what those attachments are at the back. And uh, John Williams is explaining how to do it. He suggests. So she wants a little bit higher or lower. These come off right here. Just push this in. Oh, you can remove it. <laughs> yeah. He's a really good realtor. That's correct. Okay, it's a 20. Okay, now she got the right size. So, that's it. You got it. Yeah. Yay. Everything is not adjusted because I'm not a therapist. So this is the best we can do. And then go to your therapist. Oh, and they'll make it perfect. They can, yes. they'll just oh, they're going to tie it and the, they do the size. And the, they do it for him medically. So it's oh. best for his posture and so that he's the most comfortable possible. And so the physical therapist will size this chair. So that he has to use the this one, I can make this whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Actually, he used like a uh, chest to, to, to make the baby stay straight in the body. Okay. So that's what I'm telling you. Well, I can tell you right now, they're going to drop that head down so it supports him. Uh, they they will do little things that make this chair fit him perfectly. The whole chair is adjustable as well as Josh trying to let you know. Adjusted for his height and his condition. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
because so much. Because at that point, you don't have that medical chair. Oh, we can get you the medical chair, but we don't have the medical chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a technical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're missing a physical therapist to come yeah. in. Yeah. I should have made Edward come here. Oh, okay. George, you hear me? I should have made Edward come here. One of my best yeah. friends, a physical therapist. Uh, I should have made Edward come. He's a, he's a physical therapist. Yeah, I feel bad. I shouldn't say made. I should have asked Edward to come. You didn't even think about that. It's Edward's. Thing. In the next three weeks, you will hear my office doing an announcement on the radio. I didn't um, get his foot. What's the channel? La Mania. La Mania. The Rubix Spanish channel. Yeah, it's the biggest Spanish channel in town. We'll be running commercials announcing this free clinic for the Hispanic community. So. My firm tries to get back, but even though maybe services are out there, but carries him everywhere and uh, <clears throat> so now he, his dad said I can take him to the mall but you imagine for six years have to carry his son but now they can go shopping he said you know we'll go to the store Albertsons that is amazing that is just so amazing so and there they go look at oh look at there they go they're happy yeah. they wanted to walk they didn't Aww, want to drive up yeah. the car let me see them. They're right there. They're so happy. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> I heard that the dad say that they were going to the mall, which is really great. Oh my gosh, this is so, so touching. I wanna cry. I can't show you much. Look, daddy's, the daddy's so uh, smiling so much. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I just can't show the child, you know, um, out of respect. So, yes. Okay, this guy, I, I think maybe he's gonna get something, or a wheelchair. Hi, are you here for a wheelchair too? Yes, I'm going to pick up for some clean. Oh, okay. Is it... Do you know the size? Uh, no, he don't, <laughs> okay. he don't tell me You're nothing. You're up right now. Uh, uh, only I got a pickup. Uh, uh, a pickup, okay. I don't know the person. I don't have yeah. other information, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's fine, that's fine. It's all good. They're just making sure that um, it's the right fit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, may I call him? Let me call him. Yeah, maybe the He's weight better. of the person. Let me go in because you are What's the name? Hey, Renee. I will go and tell you to call you. We got one just for you, right? So, yes, we have to double check because he's an Uber guy picking up for his client, which is great. 
So, there you go. So uh, they asked for the weight because that person is not here. And uh, he ordered something else, a smaller one, but they're giving him a bigger one. So, which is great. Oh my gosh. They, I mean, you know, all these little details are important. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful okay. day. Yeah, you Thank too. You're <laughs> picking up. Coming to pick up a wheelchair for grandma. Oh, can you tell yeah. me about grandma? Grandma is 88 years old. Uh, Grandpa died December 2016. Huh? She's been having a hard time. Oh. She has a couple adult children and a grandchild living with her. And <laughs> I know you walked. Uh, uh, you went up the stairs. And I yeah. work out and I'm tired. Yes. Uh -huh. What's your name? Mi Mila. Mila. Uh -huh. Mila. Hello, Mila. Hello. <laughs> so I'm here to help. Yeah. Um, eventually, because I work two jobs, I'm a LPN. Okay. So we, they donated one to my friend Karen. Oh, um, and you heard about it. Yes, I was <sighs> looking for Karen to get a wheelchair because she says I can't really participate in activities because, yes. you know, I don't have a wheelchair. So um, I called around and I was going to even pitch in and buy one. Really? Or find a used one. Look and at then that. I found these guys yes and it's free it's free totally free and yeah. she's so happy and now she can go play bingo and stuff oh but my god they moved gosh. her from st joseph's by umc to boulder city uh -huh. so my son he's a nursing student oh. and he and i went there last week or so and delivered it and she was so happy oh hi ivy all right Hello. so where's ivy hi oh ivy there hi, you go this is my new friend me i know oh. and come volunteer for you guys sometimes. absolutely i used to volunteer this is a thank you card and a oh. little note about karen thank you so uh -huh. much she's happy is she uh-huh she had a stroke maybe during covid and then her mother died like three months later oh. and they didn't get to see each other because wow. her mom was old too and she you can't in. go in the Ivy. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi, Victoria. I, Dallas, I'd like you to meet Mira for Hi, so nice, nice to meet you. She's going to get a chair Mira. for her grandmother uh, today. Yes. Oh, how lovely. She's 88 years old. Oh, my God. I'm uh, so glad she's going to have a chair. Yes, me too. That's going to make life easier and better. So much better. And yes. I donated, I mean, I delivered one with my son to Boulder City uh, for a friend that didn't have one. You know what? Thank you. Uh -huh, uh, we thank were you. just talking earlier about... She's excited about, about it because uh, she gets to play bingo and do activities. Well, you, uh -huh. you thanked me before we were on camera, so I'm going to thank you while we're on camera. Okay. Earlier we were in a conversation about uh -huh. everybody thinks charities need money. They don't. Oh, yeah. I mean, they do need money, uh -huh. but they need volunteers, too. People oh, yeah. just like her. Thank you. To yes. pick a chair up for the Battle Welfare uh -huh. Town Chair Foundation and deliver it to someone in need. Yeah. So thank you oh, for thank supporting you. our and community and helping someone in need. Uh -huh. Thank you. I help with addiction in the morning and then a pediatrics in the afternoon. Oh, so, uh, make sure you talk to my wife. She's here with you. Wow. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Look at that. Hi. I want you to meet somebody. Another favorite of mine, Dave Papas. Yep. Uh, this young lady right here, she does therapy and stuff. Thank you for donating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you, Dave? <laughs> it's so high, sir. How are you? Yeah. Of the world. See you, sir. No, you got that good to be swag. The deer here in front of mine. Let's have a photo, a quick one. Quick, quick, quick photo. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I like the jacket. I love the jacket. Thank you. Local supporting locals, guys. Come on. All good guys. Oh, yeah. Somebody's gonna get another wheelchair today. Somebody's gonna be happy. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Not, not, not only wheelchair, you get donuts too. You get a snack. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'll walk down there. No, just stay right there. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Make a wish. Yeah, that's also good, you know. It is. I mean, all these charities are all good, so yes, they are. what they need are volunteers. You the Ronald McDonald Club for my son that was. Supporting. You did? Uh -huh. Oh, In my Los gosh. Yeah. 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 I loved I loved my volunteer time there. Me too. 
Yeah, because we cook for uh, the parents uh -huh, of the no, children. Yeah. There was a guy that was cooking and he looked like Robert De Niro. Did you ever meet him? <laughs> no, no, no. Just like Robert De Niro. <laughs> Probably another Should volunteer. I write it? You're all good. Awesome. Okay. Nice Bye. Nice. Yes. She needs diapers too. So good thing she knows the size. So they're gonna check it out. Oh, this is Rachel Horton. Okay, this is, this is okay. Well, they're size four. Size four is new. Oh, size one, newborn, 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 one, two. That size, it's that side, Rachel, is the bigger one. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. That's for moms. Okay. The other one, that one. Is that diaper or? I think it's a pull up. Oh, these are pull-ups? Mm, check it out. Yeah, these are pull-ups. Okay. Okay, Michelle. Um, you know what? I'm so proud of you guys and I thank you for doing this because I think that uh, there should be less abortions now. You're such a big help to women. Yes, thank you so much. Um, we we are a great help to women, actually. We've been serving our community for 38 years, and the statistic is 93% of women who have had abortions um, say they do so because of lack of support. That's a huge number, 93%. We exist to be that support system. Uh, the programs that we offer, um, again, you know, for the uh, first moment from the time they come in to determine am I pregnant, um, up until the baby turns three years old with that aftercare, support yeah. and all of those services are 100% free oh my gosh. we're there to encourage them to serve them um, the um, everything that we do again and free is um, the donations that come in uh, like the diaper drives and uh, the donations of the baby clothing and, uh, and other items uh, that families need to bring a new baby home um, all of it goes to such a wonderful and worthy cause to help support women <laughs> women should not have to feel that abortion is their only choice and the services that we provide are critical to that love and support that they need just to get them through um get them through that decision-making process. And so it's a blessing. As an organization, we are not a political organization. We don't get involved in politics. Um, we are here to serve everyone in need. Um, it's really that simple. Um, politics tends to divide people. We're here to serve people. Um, no matter where they come from, who they are, our services are always 100% free. And we just love to be that support system for how, these moms in need. How do they find you? And they find us on every Prepregtest.com. If they need services, that's again. Prepregtest.com. Prepreg. Prepreg. Okay, P -R -E -G, perfect. Preg test.com. Uh, we also have social media sites, Prepregtest.com, as well. And uh, we would be honored and blessed to serve anyone in need. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I recognize you, sir. Very nice. I don't come on this side of town. We way over here on the 250. You guys have an amazing. You got here fast. That was good. A baby that beat that? Yes. Yeah, what size is it? They yeah, don't live here. Yeah. My wife's got four grand, seven grand, and a great, great grand. <laughs> We're going to see if she's the baby is in New York. Ooh. We're from Buffalo. Oh Where all that snow is. Oh my God. Thank God you're not there today. Rachel, I need you. We're getting some diapers. We got grandbabies over here. We want to show you the picture. Let's try see if this one fits you. If this one's too small, we'll get you eight. She's going to tell us the weights and sizes of her grandchildren. Okay. Let's get her situated first. Is it too tight? Let me put the brake on. Don't get up. Okay. Now you can get up. The brake's on. I'm going to get you the other chair. Now you give me that hand. Let's get you up. We'll get you a bigger chair. Okay, so um, she's trying out the size so that she'll have a perfect, perfect wheelchair for her. This is comfortable. Okay. Okay. Now, tell my wife what size those grandbabies are. How many months? It's six months. Six months. Honey, where's your phone at? Where's your phone? In the other purse. Okay, just a minute. Let me get it. Oh, she can show you 
love your nails. They're so pretty. Thank you. I do my nails all the time. You do it yourself? Oh my gosh, I love it. to do since I retired. I'd love to do that. He's looking for pictures of their grandbabies. There's your gallery right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get this. Let's get over here. Let me look at it. So, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if that leg is locking properly. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, you're good. Never mind. Never mind. Perfect. That's a per and that's comfortable for you? Yeah. And then, if you wouldn't mind, Lizzie, I would. <laughs> They're checking out the pictures of the grandbabies because uh, they need to know also the size for the diapers. So they said, Grandma said it's like six months old, but you know, six months is different from child to child. So they want to make sure. Oh, oh, not just grandbabies, great, great. Now, because they're an 81 year old, 84 year old couple. Her grandson. Just thank you. Okay, we got it. Ain't that nice? How you like that chair? I love it. We thought we did. I'm so comfortable. These are size three. These are size three. This is your six month old. Oh, my gosh. Thank, thank you all so much. Thank you so much. I never, it's I don't come pleasure. on this side of town. I'm, I'm over there by the Red Rock. We live off of Cheyenne at 215. So. We live over there too, my Wait. friend, by the Red Rock. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. off of Cheyenne Avenue. We're in a place called Shadow Hill. We're off of uh, Durango and Oakley. Oh, Durango and Oakley. Oh, so right so right sure. yeah. Do you know him? I see him on TV all the time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. he, they advertise him. And I tell my wife every day, there's that guy with that deep voice. He's trying to help people out here. And you, 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 you're, you're advertising, your commercial is awesome. Oh, my okay, goodness. And, and thank I you. I appreciate you by my heart. And thank you for the card. Because believe me, there are a lot of issues going on that I may need some help on. And I work with, I'm a uh, retired school teacher. God bless you. I had 50, 53 years straight. I came here in 2000. And I just retired 2015 from Brindley Middle School of Smoke Mansion Jones. Wow. And then now I keep score for the middle school, high school basketball game. Oh, God so bless I'm going you. all around to all the schools. You are awesome. And, yeah, and I do that now. Thank you for giving me. And I swim four days a week at the, uh, next to Palo Verde at the fitness uh, Thank you. city there. Thank you for giving your life for our children. I love you. Thank you. My whole life has been given. Thank you. I got one more thing My for you. My wife was a school right teacher. She has diapers for her grandbabies and donuts for snack. Yes. Okay. We came in Are you happy? I'm very happy. What are you gonna do now? Well, I, I just came explain myself how happy I am Aww. to meet nice people. Aww. That there's too many people in Atlanta going on the street. Yeah. And my husband takes care of me all the time. Yeah. It's the one thing been together with him 52 years. Wow! Oh my gosh! 52. So, do you play bingo? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Now, because somebody picked up a chair here, now she can play bingo. Yeah. So I can do a lot of things because yes. of my Yes. Sometimes my hip bothers me real bad. Oh. Did she tell you you can remove your uh, armrest? Yes. She told you already. No, she didn't tell me. Oh, I'm going to call Ivy because you got to know that it's important. Oh, so you can both sides come out. Rachel, can you try it? Is it easy to remove? Sometimes they are. It's a brand new chair. So sometimes uh, a little bit tight. So, so she'd be able to remove it like no, just, she just that one little button. Oh, that's super, super easy. Okay, super easy. perfect, perfect. Oh, okay, so it's it's sturdy, huh? And then, and then these are so easy. You know what? That's good to know, really. Oh, so easy.
Okay, those are um, new recipients or they're picking up for someone right there. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's sure okay, so what's your name? I'm Claudia, and I'm with Nevada Hand Affordable Housing. Oh, so okay. So the wheelchairs, they're going to one of the uh, senior properties, family senior properties, Cordero Pines. Uh -huh. So uh, the two seniors, they're in their early 80s, and they wow. are in very need of... Uh, a wheelchair yes thank you for doing this this is your husband that's my husband hi sir hi. thank you for helping you. and uh so this is going to be for uh people who live there right who live there okay yes. how did you find out about this um event i met john a few years ago when uh -huh. i used to work for sunrise children's foundation him and guy so I'm still connecting with Guy from Puentes. Okay. And that's how we, uh, I remember, I'm like, oh, I, <laughs> they're the people that I need to reach out yes. to. Yes. So aside from um, Cushberry Farms, our principal sponsor now is also G. Dallas Horton and Associates. Hi, nice yeah, that's you. Dallas Horton. <laughs> yes. Okay. So they're taking two Dallas, two uh, wheelchairs for them, oh, for somebody well, else, actually. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, like like I mentioned, I'm in a family and senior property, so it's affordable housing. They're always in need. So, get some diapers with us. Yes, it's right there. Just go with Dallas. Yeah. Also, you get a box of donuts before you leave for your community. Oh, great! <laughs> go go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> so this is their uh, van. Oh, their truck. Thank you, Cushberry Farms. They've been here so early in the morning. They really helped set up everything. And it's so hot, really, because there's no shade at all here. Besides, so really, volunteer. <laughs> what is your name? Gabby. I'm Hi, Gabby. Tyler's wife. Oh, how do you find this event, Gabby? Uh, we found it through Rachel. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Been very helpful today. And uh -huh. We're so lucky that she included us. Oh, yeah. It was so touching earlier, right? When they gave the $2,000 wheelchair to that little boy. Yes. Yeah, very, I cried actually. Very touching. I'm glad yes. I could witness it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you for your um, support. Okay, so uh, Dallas just gave him a donuts. Okay, yeah. more loot. <laughs> it is in coffee. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Um, and they need to learn the technology now, and they struggle. And even when we went through the whole pandemic, all the changes, yeah. we were so worried about yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and even for us during the pandemic, too. Gibby carries with the car. <laughs> they work with the entire community of children and families and needs. So we want them to go back and give these diapers to everybody that needs them. Thank you. Oh, the kids are in there. <laughs> Yeah, this is in there. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So they have to there we go. figure it out. Beautiful. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. And you wanted to put this on Facebook, right? Yes, sir. Yes, please do. Okay. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Yes, 53 years of teaching. Boy, let me tell you something. That's why you're so good looking. Look at that man. Come on down. 
Thank you, Dave. Those Italian genetics are strong. I'm trying to tell you, they are strong. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Sir, please don't be strong. All right, we won't. Thank you again, man. Please. Thank you, sir. Read on Facebook because her son and all of them are on. What is, what is your name, sir? My name is Lamont Dade, retired school teacher from Clark County Public School. Wow. From Buffalo, New York, and Clark County, Los, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm okay. retired out here. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All right. He has been given to our children his whole life. Oh, that's true. Thank you, uh, Nevada Wheel uh, Wheelchair Foundation. Chair Foundation. Yes. And Dallas Horton. Dallas Horton. Muchas gracias por la donación que recibimos el día de hoy para dos uh, ancianos en la tercera edad. Las sillas de rueda les va a ayudar muchísimo para transportarse a los lugares que ellos necesitan. Muchas gracias. And thank you for what you do for our community. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. You. excited to come here today and to help as much as I can. It was really amazing how much chairs we donated overall. I think that this organization is really awesome. Yeah. Now, can you invite your friends or schoolmates yeah. to volunteer? Yeah, of course. I have so many people that would love to come volunteer here. Yeah. So, next or, time for sure. Or maybe even uh, tell your school that there's free wheelchairs. Yeah. Sometimes no, they don't know. Of course, I will still let them know. Oh, thank you so much. Thank okay, you. this is uh, the best example of a young person who's doing volunteer work this early. You should copy her. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Christina. All right. Today I got to experience um, life-changing events with people getting wheelchairs and uh, that are unable to walk or um, shop, yeah, shop, move, move around, and now yeah. they get to experience those yeah. things. So you, you felt great, right? Yes. Uh, earlier I cried, you know, when they were giving that a wheelchair to the child with cerebral cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. You saw that, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I invite your friends to come. Oh yes. Next time. Um, please come and check out the Nevada Wheelchair Foundation and the Women's Resource Center. Uh, thank you. Yeah, and volunteer with and you, volunteer right? Volunteer with me. Yeah, Ellery, I'm so proud of you. Okay, girl, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. been our pleasure, and we thank you for dedicating your time, Vicky Vegas, yeah. to helping us pitch this charity event and helping all these three charities. That's the Nevada Welfare Chair Foundation, the Las Vegas Women's Center, and Vegas Healthcare. Thank you to Vicky Vegas. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank thank you, you, Dallas Horton, for yeah. putting this on and for advertising it and bringing awareness to Women's Resource Medical Centers and Nevada Wheelchair and Healthcare Vegas. Thank you so much, Dallas. And thank you to Cushberry Farms for providing the labor to the event today. We could have done it without you guys. Yay, Cushberry. Happy to help, guys. Happy to help. Yes, thank you so much, you guys. It's so hot, but you're here. We really appreciate your help. Rachel, anything? <laughs> For Vegas Healthcare. <laughs> for Vegas Healthcare. Thank you to Vegas Healthcare and everybody in the community for supporting us. And uh, yeah, any healthcare questions, you guys uh, join our Facebook Vegas Healthcare page or go to VegasHealthcare.com. Yes. And you guys, if you want to find any of them, just contact me and I'm going to connect you. Okay. So this is Vicky Vegas. Hi, guys. And thank you. So um, we're packing up. These are the three wheelchairs left. And we're done. We were here from 9 uh, until 11. Oh, somebody, somebody getting something? <laughs> uh, or is that? Oh, that's Michelle. Uh. Okay, so... It's done. Oh, I think I see Diego. Diego, hi. How are you doing, Victoria? Hey, brother. Hello, brother. You good? Hello, Diego. Okay. Can you tell us something about this? The Nevada Wheelchair Foundation? Yes, yes. Dallas Horton and Associates? You know them. The biggest 
Resource, Women's yeah, Resource, Resource, Resource Medical, Medical, the biggest hearts in the Valley. Uh, people that honestly, not just say it, but uh, are out here on Saturday uh, handing it out and, uh, and, and walking the walk. Yeah. So it's awesome to be able to see it. Thank you that you were able to come. I'm here to help break down. Okay. I figured they needed that help. Yeah. All right. Yes, thank you, Diego. Absolutely. So that's Diego Trujillo. He's the chairman of the Nevada Las Vegas Heels. Okay, healthcare, education, advocacy, and leadership. So now he's here to break down uh, the stuff and just clean up. Like I said, we need we need help from volunteers. Look at Dallas; he's doing it himself. He's been doing this at like eight o'clock. So everybody lends a hand. Look at them. Oh my gosh, look at Dallas. John in there. So if you see that, that's free wheelchair. Nevada Wheelchair Foundation. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, look at these guys. If you notice, none of them looks exhausted. They're all so excited because, you know, it makes you feel really good when you're doing good stuff for the community. Yep. Yeah, as soon as you're ready, you just say, hey, here's the stack. Oh, look at that. They're so excited. <laughs> okay.